and to hang out, it should be live. Live, live, live. And there we are. Hello, everybody. And welcome to the Late Late Weed Show. Today, our topic is pesticides and nutrients. Uh, I had a big panel that, uh, <laughs> uh, what do you call, uh, I uh, have some people that are having a problem getting in here, Uncle Sir being one. Uh, just keep trying, Uncle Sir, I sent you another invite. Um, but that's what we're talking about tonight, okay? Uh, for those other guys out there that, uh, we were talking that, you know, it was just, it, I just, it just didn't work. I couldn't find you. So, anyway, uh, okay. So anyway, guys, uh, I'm babbling here because I did a edible a, a video earlier today of Dutch treats edibles and that Prima Kush cookie that they made is top of the line. Go check it out. Um, so that's the topic today. Uh, can we just take it down the line and introduce everybody real quick? Papa, can we start with you? I'm trying to get over this last dab I just did. Primo, come back to me in a minute, buddy. <laughs> All right, okay. Uh, hit up high. What's going on, everybody? I'm outdoor grower, so that's kind of what I know. Been jumping in the light depth a lot this year. So that's kind of uh, my area of, I wouldn't say expertise, but what I'm hoping to be an expert in one day. But all growing, those who know, grow. It's very basic, actually. 17 elements, folks. That's what we're focusing on today. Uh, that's right. It, that's all. It's it's not as hard as you think, man. Uh, get your notebooks out and get ready to learn something. This should be fun. That's right. And how about the, you there, more to no grow? Hey, hey, everybody. I'm uh, just learning my my way in the organic line, but um, yeah, hydro's my game. Been at it a while. Just here to hopefully learn something and share what I know. And, you know, the more you know, the better you grow. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Well, I'm trying to get a I don't know, some guys are having issues over here. Uncle Sir is being one of the bigger ones. Huh. Let's get it. And uh, Medved, I haven't seen popping at all. But, uh, okay, Scuba, you want to say a few things? Uh, sure. Um, Good evening, everybody, or morning, afternoon, wherever it depends on where you're at. Uh, don't really do a lot of growing right now, but I've been raised pretty much in the farming business, so I'm, uh, I know a few little tips and tricks. Papa will be able to clue you in. But, uh, Cheers to everybody in the chat. Looking forward to learning some stuff tonight. Yeah, there you go. Ah, oh, man, I gotta do this guy manually. What? Uh, you guys know who I am. Uh, I'm still trying to invite. People that, uh, there's Emerald Coast in the uh, chat right yeah, there. Yeah, man, I can't get them on. 
Oh, hold on. I see. I might. All right. I was spelling it a little different. Let me try one more time. subscribers I'm tough hold on if I gotta go through my subscribers to find you we'll be here a hot minute uh <laughs> well, well no I go to the search bar that's that's too funny I I've heard that from another person too you literally have to type it out exactly otherwise I'm not there Emerald Coast 420, are you on Google Hangouts? Because the one name I'm finding does not have your picture, and I don't want to invite some random stranger danger. I've seen a couple of uh, Emerald Coast's videos. They're pretty cool. Emerald Coast is the man. Yeah, he's a good grower. Similar story, too. Much, much growers love. Seems like all of us growers go through a, a point in our life where I think everybody hated us at one time. Because we, just because we're doing what we love. Yeah. Very true. I like the well, about, they, they're hating I us about got my breath is. from that dab. <laughs> so, so, so introduce yourself, Popo. Take it away. Now that you can breathe. <sighs> hey, everybody. I'm Popo Dab from way down south. I've been growing outside for about half a century. And uh, I don't know everything. But I'm getting too old to grow outside, and I'm hanging out to try to learn how to do it inside. So, other than that, I appreciate Primo Kush having me here. Appreciate you, uh, Blaze 707, Scuba Steve, More to No Grow. We appreciate y'all guys being here, man. I know every one of y'all know what you're talking about. And, I believe in you, and you okay in Paul Paul's book. That's a good book to be in. Don Kishan. Don Kishan. I think we all need one of them cookies that Primo had this evening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I need I, the whole I, thing, too. I, I think I got, I got new people. I got new people coming on, then. When you got new people coming on, it's a little difficult because you just, your machine, you know, the things we're looking at sometimes just don't work out the way we want to work them. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah. okay. Uh, we got to move on. The show must go on. I'm sorry, bro. I'll try to work on it as we go through. Cyclops, how you doing, everybody in the chat? Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, I know I had a question on Instagram that we need to answer. But uh, more importantly, now that we know who everybody is, can we just uh, uh, start off with uh, what... The show, the topic is nutrients and pesticides. Okay, so that is the two things we're going to touch on right now. Okay. So, basically, I mean, what is, what is the, uh, what do you use? 
And we're gonna basically start down the line. Papa, I guess you ready? Okay, Melty Head just said he won't be here. Okay, Melty. Papa? Well, what do I use for nutrients? Yeah. Well, I'm a believer in reamending my soil. My soil. And, and uh, the past five, six, seven, eight years, probably, I've, I've went back to organics just because of uh, the price of bottled nutrients. And uh, I, li I like my, uh, what most people would call a compost pile or barrel. But me, I just, I, I, have, a, I have a big oak tree and I just right. make a big pile of leaves and uh, I put all the stuff I want in it, and uh, after I reamend my soil, I, I I just put start my seeds in a barn or a, a greenhouse and transplant into my beds. Uh, a lot of work involved in it, and uh, I just. I got to looking at the the benefits to earth when you go on with the organics compared to uh, bottled nutrients. Not that I say uh, bottled nutrients are bad. Sometimes we have to have them. It just depends on the the genetics of your seed. And uh, of course, I said. Most of us all that has grown know at the flushing part they need a little molasses or bud candy or whatever you prefer to put on, just plain water uh, for flushing, you know. And I believe that if you use organics or bottled nutrients, the flushing part is just as important as the nutrients. So. I'm gonna let that go down to the other end. To yeah, there you go, or, man. And, that, uh, that, I mean, but you know, you're right. Melty heads. What do you think, man? Nutrients. Give us the, give us the heads up approach. Uh, melty heads. <laughs> Did I say melty heads? <laughs> Pre I want a primo cookie. Just play, my man. <laughs> Are you Man, hearing this? Dude, this? This edible is fucking hitting me hard. Okay. Hashtag Dutch Treats Edibles. <laughs> I want a primo cookie with a quick me. Guys, <laughs> if you're you in the California area, Dutch Treats Edibles where it's at. <laughs> <laughs> Get there, guys. Remind galaxies. me of the other day when he was on that morphine. <laughs> Yeah, Dude, I'm telling you, that's a good cookie. There, Randomonium, what did you put in that cookie? <laughs> I'm trying to find you, Emerald Coast. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me just say, I'm out. sorry to uh, my brother here. Just plays the, just plays the. What? But seriously, what is your take on this? <laughs> um. Well, I'm like Paul. Paul, man, I'm a, a soil warrior. I love soil. Love turning soil. All about making. It, the best pile of living organic stuff you can work in so you don't have to feed as much. Uh, there are times you got to use bottled nutrients if you need to use bottled nutrients. There's a big stigma. I just want to throw that out there. My opinion on bottled versus powdered is the delivery. It's kind of like a, a liquid gel versus a, a hard Tylenol. One's going to be released quicker. It's kind of the same thing in my research like if i was to dumb it down as much as possible you need something immediately right now whether it's the nitrogen the potassium the phosphorus which are your three main your macronutrients your mpk those are your three main numbers you'll see on the bottles those are the ones that people pay attention to uh you got to pay attention to the micronutrients your minerals 
Those are well, very interesting. Does really does really brand matter? Uh, brand does matter because it's all about money. I mean, when it comes down to it, no. uh, it it okay. There's as far as I know, there's 17 mm-hmm. elements plants need to survive. That is it. 17 elements. Whether you buy it from Botanicare or you buy it from see what they're doing. The website Cyclops uses. I don't know. Nudge, 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 nudge. Uh, it's all the same. Okay. <clears throat> Damn. Well, you know what? Uh, Uncle Surf, we'll just let you get situated over there. And we'll be right there with you. <laughs> uh, well, okay, sir. Uh, I, I get where you're coming from. I mean, you know. Yeah, it should, it, uh, you know, it, maybe it does matter. It does matter. You know, it, it matters uh, if you can trust we, uh, look for direction, right? It actually does matter a lot. Some like, kind of, yeah. If, yeah if, you, if you want to go organic, Primo, it matters a lot. Because anybody can put oh, organic on it. Or, really, yeah. Yeah, so it all they, depends on how trusting the source is. Like, even if you go with a synthetic source, there are safe synthetic sources. <laughs> One and done. Now, <laughs> Yeah. That. All right. Well, how about you there, more to know? What's your well, take on this nutrient stuff? Well, uh, like I said earlier, I'm I'm just getting into the organic side, but I've been a long time at at the hydro. So, I've I've now switched over. I build my soil straight from scratch. I go and get stagnant peat moss. I I mix in perlite, I mix in lava rock, a bunch of manure, <laughs> some organic compost, and, um, you know, I, I make my soil base, and then I'm using stuff like a fish emulsion for my nutrients. They're bottled, but I buy in bulk. I try to buy in, in bulk just to save some money, and... I do amend my soil with some bad guano and stuff like that, but I use teas. I use earthworm casting, bat guano, and uh, bird guano tea, as well as some enzyme teas that I make from sprouting some corn, go down to the feed store and buy a bag of corn for 40 bucks and you can sprout like all right so you basically of... you're basically mixing your own little little uh batch there yep okay that's cool that's that's cool all right um well uncle surf i'm gonna you know you just got in here so you can introduce yourself and then you can answer the question for us buddy yeah, all right. Right. I'm sure you know it. We were going down the line, right? You know, <laughs> I know you know the routine, Marine. Hi, so, everybody. Uh, it's Uncle away, Surf. Man. All right, all right. I'm in here. We're going to talk about this stuff. Uh, y'all know me. I'm on a one and done kind of chemical kind of guy, synthetic. Uh, uh, using, can you hear me? I can hear me. That's all I need. Yeah, uh, we got you. Okay, so. <sighs> Look, there's, you can, oh man, nutrients get me going, guys. I'm going to have a, I'm going to have a heart attack here. Easy whatever works. Now, easy now. I know, I know. Whatever <laughs> works best. What, you got to use whatever works best for you. It takes a long time. God, I've been growing marijuana since 1971. Uh, we didn't have all this fancy stuff back then. There were no hydroponic stores. There wasn't anybody telling us what to do. We were out in the backyard bashing our heads out, trying to figure out how to grow something that we could smoke. Uh, wow. All right. Well, let me ask you this. Then I'm going to probe since, you know, okay. All right. Um, we're going to get right into this question here. I want to know. Uh, I know it's your one and done, and that's it. So can you tell us a, a little bit about it then? I can. It's like I say, it's synthetic. So the it, it's covering the base the, the basic twelve. What I call the basic twelve, which you need in life itself. Uh, if 
phosphate, potash, boron, copper, uh, iron, uh, manganese, molybdenum, zinc. Okay, With these so you things, obviously have a mix there. Well, yeah, it's mixed dad, up. Right? Did you, yeah, did you use in your, okay. My dad I'm just started catching everybody up to speed here. So I, my dad used to grow award-winning roses. And he started playing with this back in 1960. When I got a hold of it in the 70s, we started tweaking it up for the marijuana. Well, I figured, hey, if you can grow roses with it and tomatoes with it, why can't you grow marijuana with it? So that's what we started okay, doing. I know, I know why I want to take this. I remember looking at that bottle and it looked powder formed. I know you. Yeah, uh, yeah it's okay, powderized. It powder formed powder form okay so you're just uh mixing it into water and throwing it in the water feed or or top top soiling it what i do is i add uh i add a half a teaspoon per gallon while i'm in veg and then one teaspoon per gallon when i'm in flour mix it up okay. ph it make sure the ph if i'm in if i'm in the uh, veg state i'm at five eight flower state i bring it up a little higher to help absorb the nutrient uh i'm just adding this right into the coco coir i you i basically this is for dwc i the one thing i don't like about the coco coir i'm in southern california i'm my i just got i'm getting my water bill and it's going to be really high <laughs> it's it's not like dwc where i don't change my reservoir for the two months that they're in there flowering so this is this is a little shocking for me with all the water and the nutrients that I'm going through. I've blown through uh, 22 pounds this summer, but I've had over 120 plants growing too. So that was taking a lot. I will be getting now that the big room's set up and now that we're in the fall and going into winter, <laughs> winter in Southern California, uh, we will be going back to the igloo coolers for the DWC, and let me tell you, that's gonna that's gonna change some people's minds as far as how to do DWC. It really produces. Yeah, I've seen some of that before. Oh, uh, okay. Well, let's take it this. Let's take it in a separate direction. And uh, in fact, Scuba, do you see any any questions in the chat? Uh, all you out there in the chat, you got any questions? Throw it down. And Scoop is our moderator, and he'll scoop it up for you. I'm scrolling back and checking. Just just a lot of great information. Okay. All right. Um, cool. Yeah. Just, just adds to how scuba grows. Yeah, right. Y'all right? see this, I mean, all, see this panel you know up here? I'll tell you what. That's how I grow. This whole panel. I call one of these guys if I got a problem. <laughs> Scoop, I tell you what, Scoop is the man though when it comes to getting uh, the shit done on the computer in the uh, moderator had, uh, standpoint. Uh, okay, let me uh, just give you my fucking thing about nutrients. I like to stay as organic as possible. However, I have no problem going synthetic. Fuck, I've done grows where I use both. Some plants can handle it better than others. You, you take it, you know, you, uh, I like to grow a lot of strains. I'm not one of those that, you know, just grows a couple of strains. So I see it, you know, sometimes uh, one strain will take it, one strain won't. How I you doing, no bro? Glad to see you in here. And, uh, some plants that you know better than others. That's just, that's just, okay, gosh. Okay, brother, just, just mute yourself for now. Hey, Laura. So I see it, you know, sometimes. You need to mute. How you doing, brother? Just, just mute yourself for now, and, uh, and I'll get right to you. Okay. And, uh, some plants that you know better than others. Yeah, mute yourself, bro. Thanks, Scooby. I'll get right to you. Okay, so, uh, you know, that's basically my whole thing. Uh, I'll go to the uh, 
uh, synthetic if I have to. I mix them. Uh, I tell you what, though, Uncle Surf, I'd like to give your uh, one and done a try. Give it a whirl, see what's going on. Well, so, that's uh, a. Maybe one of these days we're going to have to talk about that. Well, it's funny because, you know, this is our, this summer was our final beta in test. It's our final beta test. And officially, it's supposed to be released in November. And believe it or not, there's actually people that work, I, that actually work in the front office. It's not here, but there's an office. And they're getting on my ass because I'm talking about it too early. But I say, flood the email, uncleserve57 at gmail.com with requests, and they'll get back to you. Uh, I know a pound will treat in veg 4,000 gallons of water. And when you're feeding heavier in the uh, flower stage, it'll do about 2,000 gallons of water, just to give you an idea. Right. Right. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's get to my man there uh, at, that just came in late there. Uh, we're, we're talking uh, J.J. Johnson here. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry I'm, I'm a little unprepared with your name and whatnot, so give yourself a little introduction real quick. I'm still looking for him on Hangouts. He's uh, next to me on the panel. <laughs> right. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Let's get to my man there. Uh, it just came in late there. Uh, we're, we're talking uh, J.J. Johnson here. JJ, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm I'm a little unprepared with your name and whatnot. So give yourself a little introduction. Yeah, real yeah brother. My name's my name's JJ, and uh, my my page is called Emerald Coast 420. Man, you gotta you gotta turn down your volume. You gotta turn down your volume because you're beating over your bags. So give me bad, okay. I don't see here. I mean, how is it for everybody else? Hold on, man. Yeah. I can do this one crazy here. Yeah, okay. It's like when you were muted. There it goes. It goes away. I don't know. Fix uh, your volume, bro. Fix I, your volume. I muted him. Yeah. Try to uh, pause the video you're watching of the show or oh, yeah. t turn it down. Yep. Please thank you. Oh man, that was crazy. Okay, let's see if that worked. Yeah. There that you go. Better. Beautiful. All right, guys, y'all got to excuse me. I'm completely not tech savvy at all, so I had to have <laughs> brother. That worked. But uh, thank you. Okay, I think this is why Scuba's there. I think okay, I think he's a little technician. Okay, so like I was saying, my name's JJ. And our uh, our page is called uh, Emerald Coast 420. I've been in uh, Northern California. I live right outside of Mendocino County. Been here about six years, and uh, I hitchhiked out here from Kentucky six years ago, and uh, lived on the streets for you know a little over a year trying to get everything organized and get the money now, how are you known on the internet emerald coast what, what, what's your name on the internet yeah emerald coast 420. okay all right so i mean i'm seeing jj here but you know I, you know that's yeah. what that's just i gotta say like i said i'm not real tech savvy and i didn't set up the emails and i got a guy working on that he should be on it soon but yeah the page oh, cool. Emerald Coast 420, and uh, so, so, so yeah, do we you have, uh, do you have any? Uh, I'm trying to press it down here. So, do you have any uh, anything you want to mention about uh, nutrients before we move off of this? Yeah, absolutely. The nutrients, like I said, I've I've heard you know a lot of y'all using the amendments, and some people are natural and bottled. But the way that we do it is every year I plant in the smart pots, the big smart pots. Okay. So we take all of the dirt out every year and re-amend all of our dirt. So every year I take all the dirt out of my pots, rake it out, take all the roots and all the decaying matter out. I hit it with the enzymes to kill off any of the bad pests or any of the bad molds or mildews. 
and then we add right before we plant we amend the soil with tap and roots dynamic soil amender and it's got everything that you need all in one the back one of the everything and then on top of that we use uh crushed up crab shells from Fort Bragg, California, a company called. Well, you kind of mixing your own little. You were kind of mixing oh, your own little. Uh, yeah, we use uh, the the crushed crab shells from uh, Neptune's Harbor. Do you have Do you have a Do you have a brand preference? Um, you know what? I I don't have a brand preference. I've been the last six years. I changed my base nutrients every <clears> year. Last year. My three-part solution was cutting-edge solutions, and this year I switched to the natural uh, earth juice, and I really like the earth juice. You've got to really stir it up and stuff, because as it sets, it'll congeal in the bottom where it's all natural, so you have to keep it really stirred every day, but I really like the earth juice for their three-part solution and their hybrids. And then on top of that, after we amend and use the three-part solution of the the earth juice, I use another regimen of what's called supernova and dark energy. So I use supernova, dark energy, and then I also use age-old kelp, and I use dirt MD, which is a, a humic acid. So, and then in conjunction with that, All right, so basically you're mixing your own little, little we make, there. yeah, we put our own, yeah, we totally okay. put our own, That's cool. together in the same way with the mic. yeah, so you don't really have uh, allegiance to any brand, okay? No, um, uh, let's, <coughs> let's, let's move on here, yeah. Uh, scuba, is anything in the chat right now? Um, just more good advice. Um, eggshells, cocoa. Seems more yeah, and more people more are going. Water. Okay. Going okay. natural. All right. But right. Not right. You know, I mean, what, like I said, you know, I've done both. I mean, I've dabbled in both sides. I've mixed them together. That's my whole take on that. Uh, as far as nutrients are concerned, uh, brand. Hmm. I've used Advanced. I've I've used uh, other brands. Uh, currently, I'll be making a little bit of an adjustment. Uh, hopefully, uh, but we'll see what happens. You know, I like where I'm at. I'm hitting pretty solid with my last uh, garden. Uh, so you know, that's where I, that's where I'm coming from with that. You know, so. I want to kind of perfect what I'm doing and move on. Currently, I'm not doing it. You know, it's nothing. I mean, a little bit of fishy motion, you know, and your basic nutrients. I mean, it's no big deal. Yeah, sometimes I'll use Bud Candy or a Big Bud. I mean, you know, I've tried that too. Uh, you know, you, as a grower, I think we just keep trying to get better and better. And that's yep. a, that's the aim of a grower, in, in, you know, as a whole, you know. Uh, that's my take on it. Now, no, 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 let's talk no, about no, no. pesticides. Let's talk about pesticides. We're going to start with Papa. Papa, I don't know exactly what part of the, uh, what kind of pesticides, what kind of a pest this, that you're going to have to deal with or what pesticide you use to counter whatever you uh, have to battle out there. But uh, what do you do? What do you use? Well, it, with my pesticides, I don't put any on my uh, cannabis. I, I do spray the surrounding areas with a pesticide called uh, Lors Ban. It's a food grade pesticide that we use down here to spray our soybeans and corn crop and stuff like that into crop dusters but uh i on my cannabis plants i just mainly use rosemary oil and neem oil and i inoculate them with a 
a, a mister. It's like a commercial blower. Uh, it it just blows out the. It's an emulsifier, basically. Basically, it it sprays the mist, and whenever I whenever I in, well, I call it inoculating my plants, and I only do it while they're in vegetation cycle. And once I start budding, uh, my pesticide is this right here. I pick them off with my fingers. I don't want no bugs on my plant. I don't want no chemicals on it. But so you're you're about, constantly watching them. Yes, it's okay. it's a constant vigil. All right. I can I can talk from an inside standpoint. All I've ever done is indoor. Okay. Uh, if you can give us a quick assessment. On that? Uh, I, I use pretty much the same thing that Papa does. I'm using essential oils. I use clove oil, cinnamon oil, uh, peppermint, rosemary, and I spray that around the entire area and nothing comes in. So I don't have to worry about the pest. And I think that's. Well, you're indoors. I mean, you know, the outdoor. Okay, okay, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Well, let me ask you this, Papa. All right. Uh, I, I mean, it's kind of like you guys are on the same road here. So let me ask you this then, Papa. Do you have a, a, a preference to brand? Do you have an allegiance to whatever you use? Okay. Let me give us, give us a thought on that. Brand? Yeah. Uh, and what kind well, of pests are you using it for? Well, uh... Most of my pests would be uh, termites. That's what we have the biggest problem with here outdoors. Uh, or uh, spider mites, you know, and, and gnats. Right, spider you mites. Know, okay. It, you know, I mean, everybody's going to have problems with the spider mites because the spider, it's, it's just a <clears> little <throat> bitty spider. Dog, and, uh, you know, if if you put the essential oils on the plant, you know, like uh, whoever, uh, I guess that was Uncle Surf earlier, that said, you know, about the spearmint and the peppermint oils. No, no, no I mean, no, uh, no, no, no. Somebody said mean. something about the essential oils. That's, that's basically what I use. The brands I use is I grow my own. And uh, I grow peppermint, okay. spearmint. And, uh, so you don't really have a preference either. That's basically well, it. I'm pretty much so. If I go buy something, it's gonna be Fox Farms. And I know there's people in the chat probably gonna say, "Well, hell, you stupid." But I have bought Fox Farms. It's it's the only best <laughs> one I can get. You know, without having to pay a heavy shipping cost. I've been talking to uh, the Soil King about trying to get. Uh, some of his big roots, uh, nutrients and soil, uh, but you know, uh, at the the fox farms ocean forest blend. It, it seems so you're using a every... okay. So you're you're basically relying on a supercharged soil to carry you. And uh, that's basically what you're doing. You're letting them run wild. Mm, I wouldn't say run wild. Uh, it's basically some of it is the ones that I want to keep the natural land race. I try to mimic the soil where I the seed comes from. The natural land race. I mean, if you if you look around the world where different different genetics come from the soil is different and if you don't treat that seed with its natural type of soil you're not going to get the natural phenomes out of the plant and I, I kind of basically try to mimic the the land race seed 
the soil that it needs. I mean, I've had some that all I do is go in and build a fire and burn some wood and some pine straw. And then I churn that into soil that's there, which is just a basically bland, uh, sandy mixed topsoil and throw the seeds in there. And, the, and the, that's the only thing that that seed gets the whole year <clears throat> is that burnt wood, okay. charcoal. Okay. Uh, yeah, it does. Nitrogen. Yeah, biochar. That's what's that. Yeah. I mean, I learned that in Jamaica. I mean, yep. they they go clear a little jungle, burn the shit, throw some right, plants right. in, and voila! Shout out to Randy. <laughs> Shout out to Randy? Yeah. Shout okay. out to Randy on that one. <laughs> Our Jamaican brother. Oh. Okay, okay, I got you. Uh, okay, all right. Well, uh, spider mice, that's, that's what you, uh, you're fighting a lot of. Okay. Um, uh, I'm surprised nobody's saying preventive, but, uh, JJ, why don't you, uh, give us a quick one here? What's the, yeah. what's the one bug that you, uh, dealing with, you know, your nemesis and <coughs> what do you uh, do? Russet mite. Rusted mites and broad mites in Northern mm -hmm. California right now, where they're releasing them, is yeah. wreaking havoc on everything. So what I use is this is SNS 209, and this is all natural. It's just rosemary oil, and you water it in. Usually, I stay away from systemic stuff. But I've used this for a while. There's no residues. You can test it afterwards. There's no leftovers. You water it in for three days, and then you're good for a month. So I use that, and then right when they're starting to bud, because that's your most crucial time, because the mites will get up on your stems, and they'll get all like in big groups, and then the buds will form around the mites. So no uh, matter what. So you do, so do you have a do you have a brand preference? Yeah, the SNS, the SNS two oh nine. It's uh, Sierra Sierra Natural Science, and then the <laughs> Met fifty two EC which is a, a fungus that you spray on that kills the mites. And that's the absolute best thing that I've found. The, and it's, like I said, everybody around me has mites, and you can watch the vids. It, it really works. Yeah, I mean, we see it. I mean, you know, everybody yeah. sees it. I, I don't try to hide it. Uh, you know, no garden is ever perfect, you know. No, no not at all. Anybody uh, using milk? The local government's releasing them, like he said. That's real, real stuff right there. That's true. They're rolling We're to do, uh, Just Blaze here. Uh, Just Blaze, uh, you want to chime in on this? Uh, what's your what's the pest of your having to deal with? Well, uh, I've never, ever had to deal with a spider mite when I was up, way up in the hills, <laughs> but... I actually recently yeah. moved pretty close to Emerald Coast. I'm right where Mendo and, and his county meet, like right smack on it. And he's not lying. They're throwing mites at us. They're literally driving down the streets like gangsters, just <laughs> shooting mites in our gardens. Like this is real stuff. Preventative, uh, you can do uh, companion planting. Look up companion planting, marigolds, other types of stuff. That'll give you an idea on when stuff's coming in. You'll start to notice stuff get eaten down below, and it'll it just gives you a little bit of a cue. Um, I've looked into SNS two hundred nine, and I'm glad he brought that up. So I'm going to check that out for next year. Something I use is called the Amazing Doctor Zymes. It is an all natural product, just like he says. This stuff can be sprayed. During harvest, harvest, up to harvest, you can hang it in your grow room and spray it. It is clean. I sprayed my face 
with my atomizer just to show people how clean this stuff is. It's I remember safe. this. Yeah, I remember when you did that. Uh, it's safe. That was pretty uh, fucking <laughs> wild. I mean, it, I never expected you to do something like that. That was crazy. It's not uh, an oil-based you know uh, product. And since it's not oil based, it doesn't lay on the plant. It doesn't. It, there's no systemic value to it. It it, it hits them. It leaves. It uh, it kills them on contact. It's pretty wham bam thank you ma'am kind of thing. And it's super super clean. I can detest. I've had it tested multiple times. It's gone through clubs. It's good to go. Love that product. But I'm definitely checking out the S and S two hundred nine. Yeah, the SNS two hundred nine. I can tell you right now, I use it. Uh, I'll put it in my garden from veg. I'll start them out in veg, especially if I'm going outside. You better believe it's they're getting pre-treated. I do everything proactive when it comes oh, to yeah. pests. I mean, I try. I mean, dude, I live in Hawaii, guys. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but Hawaii, Hawaii is very tropical. Okay, we got fucking humidity out here that would, uh, it's always high. Okay, so when I tell you as far as pests, I, I, you know, toughen them up with the uh, SNS 209, knock out what you can, check the underneath of them leaves, understand the bug you're dealing with. Yeah. Spider mites, they live underneath. You start seeing dots underneath your leaves, you know, you got spider mites, you'll see webs soon. Okay. When you see web, yeah, just have to just pull. If you see web, now you gotta wash. And, yeah, it's a fucking mess, and it'll wipe out gardens. So you know, in California, the cutworms bad. BT, it's a, <coughs> it's a bacteria. It kills them. It's safe. It won't hurt you, your pets. Blah blah blah. The only other method is the Paul Paul dabs. Get out there and pick them and squish them. That's the only other method. Pick and squish. But yeah. BT, it's yeah. Cheese, that's it's what that's what he says. I mean, you know, uh, but uh, you know, the thing about it is, I mean, I understand the you know pick them off, but <coughs> I mean, when you, you really got gotta watch foot plants you, you that are, I, I don't know how much they're across, but they're, I mean, we got twelve foot bamboos and they're about so they're like thirteen by like twelve foot across. Some of them. I can't pick a caterpillar off in the middle of that plant. Like, I know that's what I see. That's see, but then then that comes back to acceptable losses. Sometimes I'll you you got to take the losses with the with, good. <laughs> yeah, scope a killer scope on a BB gun. That's what the BP <laughs> works for. They eat the BP. It makes their belly hurt. Three days later, they're dead. Problem right. solved. Then you go back and with the darker times. Spray it off. Cleans them off. They're clean. They're done. Popeye shot some <laughs> some grass yeah. with a BB gun. <laughs> That's too funny. That's too funny. Okay. All right. Cool. Uh, I can pick. I can pick one off at a hundred yards, buddy. I put a <laughs> damn eye out with it. I, I hear you. Ten pumps. I'm another mother. <laughs> All right, well, let's take it to um, more to know. Uh, give us your insight on pesticides. What's My your bug pet. of choice to fight, and uh, <laughs> what do you use, well, and are you faithful to the brand? I, I am faithful to nothing in the way of brand, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> you know, I, I'm a firm believer in prevention. And we fight up here. I'm in Washington. We fight spider mites mostly. And then, of course, all the fungus. And if you're running a good bacteria base in your soil, your plants are inoculated. I don't have any trouble with fungus anymore. And then I have rosemary planted outside and I make my own essential oils and I spray like I said clove cinnamon rosemary mint and that will keep anything away if if it gets through that then I guess I'm screwed but I've never had any trouble right 
All That's those cool. plants he mentioned, those are companion plants. Every single one he just mentioned, the rosemaries, the mints, marigolds, plant those in your beds, around on the outsides. It'll deter bugs, and the ones that do come in, you'll at least notice they're eating on those first. Yep. <laughs> Scuba, you see anything out there in the chat? Any questions? Um, not really. Uh... I have to agree with Cyclops on. Uh, oh, okay. So you guys are just having a little run debate there. I got you. No, no, got you. no. It, it was just uh, he reminded me. I, I like to use natural as well. I'm dealing with white flies. Okay. So, so I'm gonna mix me up a little oh. dish soap, onion, garlic, and cayenne pepper. Okay. Into a spray. Okay. You find it that works for you? Uh, I'm going to try it. Be my first time. I'll let y'all know. Okay. All right. Cool. Let us know on that. That's awesome. Uncle Surf. Let's hear it, brother. Pesticides. What's your bug? You know, I mean, uh, what, 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 what? Oh, you muted? <laughs> What the hell? I, 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 mean, I know, I know, I see uncle? it, but I, uncle, sorry. I didn't mute you. Oh no, I forgot sign language. I took it once in sixth grade. I know that one, fishing. Oh, oh. No. His hangouts is probably. Yeah, he's been having a hard time today. Him. He's been having a hard time today, but uh, if we can catch him, we will. Uh, as far as for me, yeah. Uh, you know what? This is the late, late week show, but we haven't taken a hit yet. So I'll tell you what, guys. Why don't we all take a hit, a, a big dab, uh, do whatever you guys got to do. I'm going to take a big swig of this water for all you in the chat. Go ahead and throw it down, man. What the hell are you guys all smoking on tonight? Also, just Hello, coming man. out of the hospital, I got to say, uh, I'm a little slow here, so I apologize. If the show's not moving as fast as I, hey Laura, as I can, and uh, you know, for those out there, I know, I see you out there. You know, uh, we couldn't hook up; it was just too late. The timing, we needed to have more time before we did anything. As, you know, so but we'll get you on. Don't worry. Um, and I apologize for that too. Okay. But, uh, anyway. Not to take any retraction from me. I just think it's like this, okay? Here's my thing on... Uh, how you doing, Uncle Surf? Uh, hopefully we can hear you. Hang on, and we'll get right to you. Um, the thing about it for me is this. I look at it as a proactive thing. I got to be on it before it happens. If I'm going outdoors, I need to prepare my plants for it. Uh, yes, I do use SNS-209. I'm uh, I'm kind of I like it, okay, because it hits off <laughs> like something awful, and it tough it toughens the plant actually to be a little bit more resistant to the spider mite, okay. So you know it's like uh, you know so I use I use that product. I also use uh. A combination of uh, morning oil or a uh, little bit of emo, emo, uh, <coughs> neem oil in there. Um, as far as leaf munchers, we don't really, I don't really have that problem because it's so windy. They don't have a chance, you know, they got to keep on moving. Uh, wow. Because, the, I mean, if you look at my outdoors from before, I don't grow outdoors anymore, but when I used to, Oh, man. I mean, they'd be, like, blowing in the freaking wind, you know. So, 
And even in my tent now, you'll see them blowing in the wind. But it wasn't as hard. Okay, but uh, that kind of keeps away. For some reason, I don't have a problem with the leaf munchers. Okay. So what I do see when I'm outdoors, especially though, wow. is spider mice. Wow. And I always What's take a proactive approach. approach. Okay. All right, Uncle Surf. Yo. Uh, you, uh, I, as far as the brand, I, you know, that's it. But anyway. What uh, am I going Uncle with? Surf, Hello. The, well, I'm only I'm only gonna I'm only gonna say the S and S, the neem oil. I don't care. I mean, if I gonna add neem oil to it, to the whole thing, I mean, I don't care what brand it is. But I just I go with Dynagro. Because S and S grows. Dynagro uh, or uh, Dynagro or the Einstein oil. Those are my go-to. Yeah, Dynagro. Dynagro or the Einstein oil. Yeah, Dynagro neem oil. Here, where's the camera at? My camera's not turned on. Someone's got me blocked okay, off. Huh? Yeah. I got your icon up. But we can hear you. Oh, well, I don't. I, I, my green light isn't on, but it's Dynagro neem oil, organic leaf polish, and then uh, the Einstein oil. Same thing, it's just a little more refined. Uh, if I've got spider mites, which I haven't seen in a long time, but when I used to get them, I'd use uh, two tablespoons of milk to a gallon of water. I'm sorry, yeah, two tablespoons of milk to a gallon of water, Hudson sprayer, soak them down, over, under, give that a shot every two days for about three, four treatments. You won't see any more spider mites. Okay, well, hang, on, hang on now. I'm going to back you up a little bit on this one. All right. Now, you're talking about, like, when you see them, then you start spraying here? Or what What are you doing? When I, are you, like, uh, giving them at some point? And I don't spray. What's I, going on? I, I, on my outdoor crops, I'm out there picking stuff up. The only thing I use is neem oil. Uh, okay. If I've got to, I'll do the BT, but I haven't used BT for a long time because I'm out there picking stuff up. The problem this year, I've got 15 foot, 16 foot plants, and I'm too old to be up on a ladder like that. So. Well, you know, your plants did go vertical on you. I mean, fuck. I mean, seriously. You got some that are like. They're tied. They're Thai plants. Yeah. They grow like that. I've had them go thirty. Oh, is that what that? Oh, is that? Yeah. Well, nice yeah. Man. I've had my uh, the Thai <laughs> plants. I've had they go thirty three feet if you let them go. Right, and you know that's precisely why I bred them out of my genetics when I made the shave ice and the bonsai. You're bouncing it. Bred that fucking Thai out because oh, I, I it was it just grew ugly. I didn't like it, you know and. I replaced it with the Afghan, but that's that's another story. Um, as far as pesticides, though, I mean, my, that's my, like I said, you know, that's that's where I come from with the pesticide thing. Uh, Papa, you got anything else you want to add here? And you know what? I'm going to take it to, before I take it to Papa, JJ, I see you popping up them bottles over there. And yeah, I can see that you and Uncle Surf agree a lot on a lot of the products. Yeah. As far yeah. as the brands, I'm starting yeah. to see. That. I don't know if you guys are. I don't know if you guys are watching each other, but yeah, you know that's what's happening. No. You know what no. So that's what I'm seeing here, and uh, that that in itself is interesting too. Uh, Papa. Go ahead, man. You got anything else you want to add to this whole uh, nutrient or pesticide uh, issue here? Go organic. And there is a commercial on TV. They've got this one pump gun that shoots, rock, uh, not rock salt, but regular table salt. And you can tear a fly's ass up with one of them. You know, so get you one of them damn rock salt shotguns. <laughs> Why assault is what they're called. That's it. That's uh, the bug assault. Uh, the bug assault. Yeah. 
It's the bug assault. Yeah. Or bug assault, yeah. That That's what it is. Get you one of them damn things. Oh, damn, put it my on camera here. on. Put my camera on, damn it. Here. <laughs> I got your camera on, brother. I don't see nothing. My green light still ain't on. You're pushing around there. Huh? I ain't gonna give anybody thirty-nine dollars for a damn bug assault gun. Make my own damn bug assault gun. <laughs> okay, okay, hang on, hang on, bro. There's one uh, thing Uncle Surf is, if nothing else, it's that he's fucking handy. And I hate bugs <laughs> in my garden. MacGyver get, Surf. Get you one of them thirty foot tie stalks, hollow it out, throw you a little salt in there and yeah. <laughs> just like uh, just like them monkey hunters. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I got hey, you. Hey, one Sam other Colt. thing I did. Sam one Colt other thing I did want to say. Mr. Crossman makes my garden clean. <laughs> well, what's that, Papa? Yeah. What do you want to say? I was gonna say one more thing, man. Uh, my heart and the prayers go out to Cyclops down there on the. In Florida, he got hit pretty bad with uh, Hurricane Irma, and uh, I just wanted to let him know that I'm thinking about him, and if there's anything I can help him with to get his grow back going, send me a line over on Instagram, and I'll do my best to get it in the mail to you, buddy. Yeah, I know. I uh, was talking to him earlier today. During the uh, unboxing, I think it was, and uh, he said uh, he, had, he had suffered a lot of damage. He lost his whole fucking crop. Uh, the one thing he did save was his dams, his oils. He had that fucker <laughs> under lock and key. So hooray for that. Uh, <laughs> but you know, everything else got to be wiped out. Bangers, young man at the hurricane. Yeah, you know, he uh, he was telling me about it. I'm serious, man. I I fucking felt sorry for him, man. You know, I mean, I heartfelt. I had heartfelt, sincere sorry for the man. I mean, I mean, he got wiped out. Uh, yeah. And thank God the insurance he said he's taking care of the house. So we know things are going to get better over there real soon for him. But we'll keep him in our prayers. And, you know, definitely, Papa. And Cyclops, you're the man, bro. Hang in there. Yeah. We're with you. Anything you need, fucking let us know. Okay? I'm reaching out to you again. Let's, let, you know, let us know. All right? Uh, heads up high. You've been kind of quiet over here. I want your take on this whole uh, last word on, you know, what, what do you got to say? When, when, when it comes to this kind of stuff here, pesticide uh, nutrients, I mean, you know. One thing I kind of forgot was diatomaceous earth. A lot of people space on that natural little mineral. I like to sprinkle that in my soil. Like, I don't know, there's something about that. When I sprinkle that in my soil, I don't have a problem with the pests in the soil. And when you're buying organic soil from stores, you cannot control these, the transporting, whatever. There's bugs that might be in that soil before you even have a chance. So I use diatomaceous earth or a soil drench sometimes, but I like to use the diatomaceous earth. It's cheap. It's food grade. You can get, you can eat. I like getting stuff you can eat, people. If you can eat it, it's good to go. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. uh, other than that, next year, I mean, this has been a hell of a year, a hell of a ride. I didn't plan on getting on YouTube. I'm so happy I did. I got to know people across i mean all y'all are just amazing people awesome growers just people i love to call family friends homies whatever we want to label each other y'all are the shit i just think this youtube thing's gotten amazing and i can't wait to show you what's really going down next year because this location i plan on doing some upgrades to her we're budget balling out here people we're pulling scraps together to get this done so hopefully next year I can show a little respect to this place and uh, really, really bring some magic to it. Not to mention, I'm fucking Emerald Coast, brother. We're fucking neighbors, man. We're going to come hang out there soon. That's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. We like need right yeah, man, what the hell is up with you two guys? You guys are like so close, but then 
That's how we are in Northern other, California. Well, Man, damn. <laughs> it's, well, it's just, I'm hard to get a hold of anyway. Like, I'm a very <laughs> reclusive person. I don't, I don't get out and mingle much. <clears throat> I know the feeling. That's why we've never <laughs> seen each other till now. Every time I see his videos of that lake view, I'm like, dude, I've been around that corner, dude. I'm telling you. I've probably looked That's right up at that hill one day. It was no one day. Oh, absolutely. Kind of I know you have. I know you drove by here a thousand times. <laughs> oh, I'd love to stop <laughs> one day, dude. Yeah, we, man, we, gotta hook up up for real. we need to meet up. You want to pee? Hang out for a bit. I got to turn my mic back on here. Am I on or not? Damn, you are. Shit. We'll get back yeah. to you, Uncle Sir. I grew some. Get ready to use that signs and flower if you need to, sooner than later. Okay. I can spray myself in the face if you need to. <coughs> Dude, Cyclops, much love. Everybody else in the chat who comes to listen to us ramble about this. This is just too cool. I love y'all. Thank you, Primo, for letting me be a part of it. Come to the pajama party this yeah. Friday. I'm giving away a bubbler. Primo sticker is going to be in the package. A few other things. So, Friday. Awesome. Uh, okay, so uh, that, that's all you got to say about. Okay, all right. Well, let's. I tell you what. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, move on to uh, more to no grow. And I, I want. I want you to give us a little bit more final word here. On oh, what's your take on all this? I, you seem similar, but you seem to be like uh, just mavericking it and doing it step by step, little by little. <coughs> yeah. uh, you got your little system that you work in there. Yeah. So give us I, your last words on it. You know, nutrients, pesticides. What's going on? Start to finish, I make my own soil. I use a whole bunch of organics. I like to top dress, and I use a whole bunch of fish and ship. I think that's the key to making a good pot, <laughs> is fish and ship. And if you use a bunch of that, it seems to turn out pretty well organically. Um, that's bad. As, far as, <laughs> as far as pesticides, I think that you shouldn't have to use any. I think that uh, it's best to go on the line of prevention and never have them in there in the first place. But if you do, treat it okay, organically. Okay, proactive. All right. And I, I much, much appreciate the the invite here. Thank you. Well, and I mean, you're a little quiet sometimes, you know. It, it, I got to keep reminding myself you're there. Um, you know, uh, next time, uh, uh, maybe uh, give us a little bit more insight because I know you got it. Yeah, you just got to get it out of you a little bit, you know. Uh, right. But I know you don't like to be in front of the camera a whole lot, so you know, mm -hmm. you'll get it'll get better for you. Trust me. You're doing a great <laughs> job, bro. I hope. Thank you. You're doing a great job. I just like to tell you that. Uh, okay, uh, well, let's move to uh, Uncle Surf. You got any last words, brother? Is this thing on? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. <laughs> Can you hear me? On the air, bro. Bro, I, you still got me on the. Uh, I'm still muted over here. I see the muted thing. Can you hear me? We can hear you, though. It's just... Oh, you can? Can hear you. Don't yeah. worry. All right. So then never it. mind. All right. So let me just ramble yeah. on here. A couple of last things. Hey, I got to <laughs> do three shout-outs for a couple of people because they were... They look, another another, another, another shout-out for Kevy Boy 420 He's having a hard time. He had to kill his whole crop. So big bummer on that. And then you guys got to check out somebody I came across. Uh, guys, it's, a, it's three... It's... Do this three times. It's like uh, <laughs> Dub T Roy. Dub T Roy. The guys are kicking the fucking pants watching this cat grow, man. I'll tell you what. takes a lot to get me to keep coming back to a channel. Every morning I get up and I just check to see which, which videos he's come up with for the day. Damn, it's good. And then also on the uh, grow tube for uh, Crazy Dago. Crazy Dago. Uh, he gave me a big shout out out there and that drew some people over to my website or over to YouTube there. And I, uh, 
wanted to say thanks to everybody who's tuning in, man. It's been it's been fun, and uh, I look forward to doing it more. Primo, thanks for having me back on, man. I appreciate it. Uh, we gonna go for a little while yet, or we're not get, we're not done with this thing, are we? Uh, well, I mean, you know, it's just two topics, and uh, I don't see anything other than that. So I mean, all right. All I right, want so, you guys to really dig them out. I mean, whatever you guys want to say, just come out and say it, you know? All right, so <laughs> in, 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 my closing, in my closing part of it, as far as the topics go tonight, when you're growing, you got to remember, you're going to smoke it. It's going to go in your body. Mm-hmm. Think of smoking cigarettes and how healthy that is and the chemicals in that stuff. So the fewer chemicals you put in, the fewer chemicals you put on, the better off you are. Natural, better. Uh, I've gone synthetic. It just makes my life a lot easier in the garden, both indoor, outdoor, in soil, in DWC, and also in the cocoa, which I love. But my only complaint on the cocoa, the water usage. So uh, pesticides, get out there and pick it early in the morning when when they like to be up on top of the leaves that's the best way to do it if you can't do that then do ah, a little neem oil so you're another i'm you're always another picking in my garden i'm out there i'm out there in the morning with a green light a big green led light it, it lights them up so you just put out a video about it i i did just the other day i was out there picking on them yeah on my, it's a green light thing. So, anyhow, that and, uh, you know, on the nutrients, don't believe everything. When I go into a, I hate going to a doggone, uh, <coughs> two places I hate going to. The pharmacies, every once in a while I have to. Uh, and also the uh, hydro stores. I hate going to the hydro stores. God, these guys. Yeah. <laughs> you, I get a headache looking at their shelves with all the different nutrients lining up. The A's, the B's, the additives, the dits, dits, it's this, it's that. It's strip your water of everything that's good and healthy in it and then pay this to replace it with this. And by God, by the time you look, you got a storage shed full of bottles that cost 70 to $600. It's like, what are you doing? So to me, all that hoopla, it's baby crap in a bottle. That's all it is. Look at the companies that you're buying this stuff from, where they're located at, and when you've got a five-gallon jug of their stuff in your yard, who paid the shipping to get it there? I guarantee you it wasn't that company or the guy at the hydro store. So uh, do it as best as you can, as clean as you can, and number one, have fun doing it. Because if you, if you don't love doing this, it ain't worth doing. That's my that's my two cents. So a shout out to all you. Yeah, definitely. And I want to give a shout out. You know, right now I just want to, uh, like I said, you know, I told you guys what I use. Okay. Uh, when it comes to, yeah, I do use fish emotion. I use fishy motion. I ain't ashamed to say it. How can I use that? Uh, that's that's something that I. I mean, we do cultural practice out here. So. Okay, uh, but why not take works. the whole fish? Why not take the whole fish and bury it below the plant? Well, that's how the <laughs> no. Indians did it. We kind of. I just I personally. I, I just like it. to mix it's a, a lot bottle cheaper. of fishy motion. Like a lot cheaper to drop a line in the water and pull up that fish and take it home i used to i used to shoot the squirrelies and the little tweety birds back here put a two inch pvc pipe in the plant and push that birdie down in there and at the end of the year pull up the roots there'd be three four little tweety birds under each root in each rooted plant stripped (laughs) bones so that's that's organic baby roadkill well you know hey I mean, it is what it is. I'll mix it. I said it. I said it already. Okay, yeah, but you know, I've, I've used some really weird shit to grow marijuana with, guys, and some of it I'm too ashamed to admit to. So, ain't <laughs> nothing I've heard yeah. yet well, that comes I mean, close. Hey, you, 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 hey, you know what? No, as a grower, come on, guys, as a grower, you, you know, know how the Chinese keep fucking trying something. To get you know better. how the Chinese grow their rice, right? 
Yeah. That? All right, yeah. just think of that oh, for yeah. a minute, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I sure saw the Cheech and Chong where he's like, yeah, I heard it's good to piss on your plants, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the middle's no, no, something in it. <laughs> All right, so uh, go ahead, man. <laughs> oh, big shout out to Ganja Gimp. All right. She's a California local. She's a yeah. patient. She's freaking awesome. And for some reason, her subs are nowhere near where they should be. Please go stop by. I promise you'll enjoy. She's flipping hilarious. Go check oh, her out. Wow. She is awesome. Who is awesome. Go check her Say it out. again. Say it again. Ganja Gimp. Ganja Gimp. Ganja Gimp. Yep. I can't hear that. There's a. It sounds like the old days calling Hawaii when it was a a, a, a Trans Pacific phone call under the ocean. There's some hey, weird man, echo I'm going on. I'm trying my best here, man. Someone, I'm someone, okay. somebody, Logan email me that, or here. somebody, somebody, drop it on my website or on my YouTube. Let me get that name again on my I YouTube tell you or what, something. Man, you're having some issue. Yeah, you I got issues, man. You've been like, I can yeah. dot dash it for you if you need to, Uncle Sir. I'd find the IT guy and kick his ass. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? Uh, I my guys are working real hard right now in the chat. We got. Yeah, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't yeah. kick their ass. I'd take them out, buy them a beer, one of those Kona beers out there. I hear they're pretty good. I don't know yet. Uh, I don't know. You guys drink Heineken out there. I'd buy them a beer, fire up a big fatty, and tell them, let's come on, let's think this over and get it right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well. Fuck it, it's, you, you know, it's, 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 yeah, you know, it comes down to computer shit. And I get further with a big, just, I get further with a big fat joint than my foot up somebody's you know. ass. I tell you, I agree. I mean, fuck, I gotta deal with two of me right now. It's, it's, it's irritating. But, you know, sometimes uh, that's just the way it goes. I mean, <laughs> with everything going on right now and the weather and everything, I mean, it's gotta be affecting some kind of bullshit and then you throw in google and youtube i mean who are you gonna really get mad at you know the big fucking platform it is what it is google you know whatever YouTube. we'll deal with it the best we can ah, uh, don't get mad get, you know don't get mad get stoned that's right that's right that's damn right you know it's guitar flog hey. uncle sir if you Yo. can see the chat Social Stoner posted Gunja Gimp's website there in the chat. All right, cool. Yeah. It's also in the Google Hangout we're in right now. <coughs> nice. And I want to give a little shout out to Ford Dub. He's awesome. He goes in the way. All right. Ford Dub, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, let's get some last words in there. Uh, I know I supposed to have had a question and I lost it uh, from the uh, pre pre show question. And I'm sorry. I'll get to you later. <laughs> uh, Do you remember who it was from? Dude, I can't even. You know, I had it set up, but it was he. He submitted it so early that. It kind of got lost, you know, and I can't find the damn thing right now. And, and to go it. off the, the, the screen with everybody may just shut this whole thing down, and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to have to do a personal yeah. thank you to him and give him a big shout out to the next time we have a show. Uh, but uh, yeah, <laughs> he had a great question for tonight. So uh, we'll 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 go ahead and do it. I, I'll try and uh, get it ready for next week. But uh, okay, so uh, hey, well, Jay, Paul, you, Paul, quite... you want to give any last words there? Yeah, AJ had a question. I would just say short answer: No, I I'm like <laughs> I'm close. I take my my soil. I take it out the pots. I rotate it. I actually lay it in a small layer in the sun, and I like turn it, and I let the sun cook it. And that way, anything that was living <clears throat> is sterilized. And I start with freshly cooked baked soil, <laughs> and 
And uh, so, yeah, take the dead roots out. Anything dead roots can be harboring bad stuff, bacteria, funguses, mold, stuff like that. Unless you're running a worm bed. Yeah, yeah. Feed that to the worms. Yeah. And then feed your worm poop back to the plant. It's all about the poop. Bat poop. Seagull poop. Fish poop. It's all about the poop. The poop. (laughs) (laughs) All right. All right. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, JJ, you want some last words here? Anything you want to tell anybody here? Give you yeah, I just, love, talk about your channel, whatever you want to do, yeah. real quick, though. Yeah, I wanted to throw a few things in. We was talking about spraying for mites and taking care of gas control, but also this time of year is when powder, mildew, and mold starts to set in. So it's important to find something, you know, that you can on your plants during flood to keep that down and like blaze said the dr zymes works good for killing off powder mildew and stuff but i use actinovate and the actinovate's all organic it's only listed and uh, you can mix it right in with the pesticide the stuff that i spray the sns you can mix right with it the EC, the Mat 53 EC, is a fungicide. So you have to be careful if you're spraying like organic mite control or pest control that's an actual fungus to spray it with the fungicide. But other than that, I really like spraying the doctors or the Actino Okay, all right, cool. Heads up high. You want to say anything about your channel? Last um, words? Man. I, it, I, it was random. I just kind of thrown it together, but it's been a fucking blast. So I hope people really like my content. I mean, I'm just a grower doing what a lot of people are doing in this area. I mean, look at Emerald Coast. He right around the corner. He got monsters. Everybody got monsters right around the corner. So I just really appreciate anybody who's been showing support. It's pretty humbling. I broke 500. Can't wait to uh, show you guys what I next year man and maybe get well that's fun. why i brought jj on you know because uh emerald code 420 you guys check out his channel I mean, he's got an impressive garden thank you all so my hat to you sir i really uh, appreciate y'all inviting me with a nice yeah, I mean, hey we may even invite you uh again you know what i mean so, i would love to come back on anytime don't be a stranger bro you know I want one of the lollipops i don't know if you know but that lollipop he has that thing has hash in it yeah <laughs> you, you run into him, I know. I can tell. Yeah, yeah I've been paying attention. <laughs> All right. Um, anything else you wanna wanna add there before we move down the line? Pie, pie, elevated state of mind. Much love, everybody. Primo, thank you again. You're the motherfucking man, you sexy son of a bitch. I have yeah. so much to hear. Every time. All, all dabs. I'm uh, so glad you can make it. Every time you don't make it, it breaks my heart a little bit. I miss you, brother. Every time. I know, and I miss him man. too, man. I gotta say, man, <laughs> I miss my damn papa, man. With my co-host yeah. out there, he's off to the races and he's doing this and that. And, Has you know, and... I, I know he's been tired though. He's been worn out and he he has a lot of work to do. I know that. Hashtag, Thank hashtag. God he didn't get hit by the storm. Scuba. That just been another hazard, you know, not a bad situation. Prayers go out to Cyclops. I mean, you know, what can I say? The guy, I mean, he he, he suffered through the storm, uh, but uh, you know, he's our brother, and we're gonna we're gonna help him out in any way we can. Okay, <laughs> and uh, he's running you know, deep. Uh, those of you who haven't subscribed, uh, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm uh, Primo Kush. Uh, next show I have, I will not have a show probably on Wednesday or or Saturday uh, unless I'm feeling good. And right now, I just want to take it easy. So for this week's or until further notice, I'm going to have two shows, the Late Late Weed Show and the Pajama Party Giveaway. And uh, that's the, probably the next time I'm going to be live uh, it's for the Pajama Party Giveaway. I'm, dude, I've been in, in and out of the hospital in the last two weeks. Some of you guys, most of you guys should know this. 
Uh, and thank you for all the well wishes out there. But I, I got to say. But, uh, you know, these last two weekends, I mean, it's really been taxing on me. And uh, <clears throat> I got my whole thing with medical. Things just got moved into... Uh, from from second to third year, you know, and uh, it's getting worse, and that's what you know. I don't know. I I I got a new doctor. He's doing just blood, and it, it's. It, I'm not. Before I was saying, oh, you know, I'm bleeding again. I'm bleeding again. Well, I'll tell you what. There was a reason that I was bleeding again. I wasn't making red blood cells. I didn't have this going on. I didn't have that going on. And now I got this new doctor that's fucking like being very aggressive and he's moving quick. And he's, uh, and you know, my, my, my liver doctor, he's, uh, he's, um, he, he's, he's really uh, against me even going to the mainland. I mean, that's how bad it is. Okay. Yeah. Things have taken a drastic turn and I haven't told anybody about that yet. I don't really want to talk about it. It's still fresh in my head. I, they're talking about doing it later. Uh, and going with, I, I don't know. But uh, my doctor is not giving me medical clearance to fly. That's that I do know. I talked to him today and nope. <laughs> and he's like, you go to the doctor. You gotta go. And I so I gotta go see this new doctor. So that's where that stands, you know. And uh, it really fucks things up with me because I was gonna run into a lot of good friends, and if I can't make that trip. Uh, it's going to just break my heart, and I don't even want to talk about it. We just got to get okay, on but, uh, and come see you. I'm just, well, I'm, dude, I'm feeling good. My blood count right now, guys, is 8.1. That's the highest it's been in fucking ever. Okay, so, you know, uh, the thing again, though, you know, they got me with this new blood doctor, and he's, and they're saying, the, the, what they're saying is basically you're not bleeding out in the conventional way that you would think somebody would bleed out. What's happening is you're not making red blood cells and your immune tissue disease are going down. And I mean, they got me on steroids and fucking all kinds of bullshit. You know, I, 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 it's, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's very taxing and it's very aggressive and it's moving fast. And, uh, now I got a, a call today uh, from his nurse, and I had a brief conversation with him, and uh, he's not giving me medical clearance. So that, oh God, you know, that's what I'm dealing with right now. And I just came out of the hospital after two weekends. Last two weekends, I was in the hospital. Okay, uh, but it is what it is. My blood count's very good. I'm doing. I'm doing pretty good medically right now. I got a little cotton mouth. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> you know, I'm doing what I got to do. Uh, Scuba, you want to say any last words? Uh, yeah. Uh, every one of you are beautiful people. We're all special. How you do something is the way you should keep doing it. As long as it's good and it's doing what you want it to do, that's how you grow. Keep doing it. All right. Uh, just much love for everybody, you know. It's, it's just awesome being a part of and knowing everybody here. Uh, well, I mean, you know, you, you surround yourself with the best people, you know, and uh, I think I think real people kind of 
kind of group and recognize that fact, you know? I mean, I think everybody on this panel is real people. Uh, you know, we all got our little ways and we all got our little quirks and we do things differently, but at the end of the day, we are true to ourselves. So, yeah, I can totally relate to what you're saying there, Scuba. Uh, Uncle, Uncle Surf, uh, do you have anything you want to end this with? Final uh, words, uh, yeah, well, I'll just say this, you know, it's, it's grow this plant with love and care. It's a fun thing to do. Uh, grow it the best way you can. There's a lot of ways to do it. There's good advice. There's bad advice. It's, it's like rolling the dice, but what you got to find a way to do it. It takes a while. You got to spend three, four, five years just to get the gist of this whole damn thing, no matter how you're growing it. Don't give up. Don't be a quitter. <laughs> this is a recession-proof freaking investment that you're making in yourself. And tell me, even if it went to $1,000 a pound, what else out there sells for $1,000 a pound that you can grow in your backyard? So, like I say, have fun doing it. Be careful doing it. If you're going to smoke it, grow it really clean. And uh, you got to show love to everybody you come across. It's, it's a vicious freaking world as it is. The nice thing about you know pot people, we, we're nice and calm. We're not like the meth heads out there or the people soaring on cocaine and all the wired up people. I like to be You're relaxed. You're damn right. You're damn right. And you know what? I uh, I can't agree with I'm, I mean, you, you know, I can't agree more with you on that fact. I yeah. mean, it, it is. It, you're right. I mean, that's all I can say. California um, too. Holy crap! Yeah. yeah. Uh, I just like to uh, say that uh, we're going to end the show now. Uh, I'm telling all of you guys out there, I'm doing fine. Thank you for the well wishes. Uh, it's your old boy Primo telling you that I'll see you in the funny papers. <laughs> uh, Aloha, everybody. Much love, Primo. Much love. Hey, Uncle, hang on. I want to talk to you a little bit. All right. Peace out, everybody. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end the broadcast. Y'all come uh, on. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody.